So let's begin this video by looking at an enhancement to an IDOC. So first of all, let's create an IDOC. I'm going to create the delivery IDOC. So for this delivery, I go to the extras, delivery output, header. And I'm just going to copy um, this, uh, this IDOC, repeat output, save it. And now, if we go to WE02, enter, execute, and for the outbound IDOC, DESADV, let me double click on this one. This is the only IDOC that was created. If I go into the data records, now if I open up S02, so let me just find the segment S02. Oops, it's not this one. Nope, yeah, okay. In segment S02, we see this value, uh, S-U-M-M-E, and the value is 1, 2, 3, 4. It doesn't look much, but this value has been explicitly populated by a user exit rather than the standard SAP. Let's now look at that enhancement code. So I'm just opening up another screen. Let me just align the screen. And let's go to SE37. And here we're going to open up the function module that creates the IDOC. So we're going to the DESADV01. We're looking at the code. Now, this is a standard SAP IDOC. But we are going to go to a very particular user exit within the IDOC and I will show you our custom code. So you can see here we're going to the user exit in the IDOC and here you can see just a simple code where we are filling up the segment SUMME with the, with the value of 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I now flip back to the IDOC you can see the segment or the field SUMME also has the value 1, 2, 3, 4. And now let's flip back to the code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the value uh, of 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to change it to something different. Let's say 999. And I'm going to save this, activate it. And then I'm going to create a new IDOC and let's see the result. So let's go back into VL02 end for the same outbound delivery go to delivery output header I'm going to repeat the output save it then let's go to WE02 and let's have a look at the new IDOC that we've just created so here let's go to the segment uh, S02 this one here and as you can see, SUMME now has a value of 999 to, as to reflect what I did in the code before. Now let's go back into the code and I want to talk about first of all this command which is the read table uh, with the key segment. What this actually does is it reads the standard SAP table uh, or it keeps on looping because the, the, the program will keep on looping for each segment and what this ensures is if you look at the next screen below subrec equals zero what it's saying is this keep on reading this table until you reach this segment once it hits that subrec will always be zero and it will execute through the code next um, if we go down to the third item or the third line we see that we're populating a particular segment with a particular value and then below that we are modifying back into the SAP segment our value and the effect is pretty simple we are scanning the segment until we find the segment we want we are replacing one field value and we're passing it back to SAP so now I've already put a breakpoint let's run the interface and let's see this segment being populated with the value 999 again so the breakpoint is set here I'm going to now go into the delivery and like before, so if I, let me just go to the delivery. Like before, I'm going to create a new message output that will generate the IDOC. 
but like we saw before or like I've explained before we have to process it in a slightly different way so let's go to repeat output I'm going to now go to further data and we got to make sure that the dispatch time is set to 3 which is send with the own application transaction so let's go back and save this delivery and I'm going to then process this message using the VL71 transaction which is the processing output I have my delivery number I've highlighted it I execute it and now we should see the debugger there is being triggered once we are once we hit the code see we've hit our code here now it's reading the table I am finding this key segment so let me step through as you can see it's found it if I double click on the segment value you can see it's the L segment keep on going and now I am overriding or populating SUMME with a value of 999 I'm going to the next step right so we're copying this segment now as you can see it's 999 I can change it to another value if I wanted to so let's try 456 800 there we go it's a new value here and let's execute the program until it's finished now let's go to WE02 and have a look at the IDOC it should be the last IDOC yep and let's go to the data record let's go to the segment nope not that one oh this one as you can see SUMME now has the value that we just overwritten which is 456800 and that is how we actually debug an interface.